In this video, I'm going to talk about government entities as your employer, as the person that you might bring a claim against. And yes, I said person because under the law, a government entity is to be treated like a person, just like a corporation or just like your neighbors. If you're suing a government entity, however, there is one very important difference that the government enjoys that other defendants do not. That is, in order to bring a claim against a government entity, you must file a government tort claim within six months of the bad thing happening to you. In this government tort claim, you will state plainly and concisely how you were harmed, the extent of your harm, and when the harm occurred. After you file your claim, you or your lawyer will receive a notice that your claim has been rejected and that you have six months now to bring your lawsuit against the government entity. It is extremely important if you're suing a government entity that you obtain competent, experienced counsel to help you. Government entity cases are different than regular cases. They're different in two main ways. Number one, government entities enjoy protection from punitive damages and they don't have to pay any of the normal filing fees that other defendants have to file. As a result, government entities usually fight harder and longer than most private entities do. Also, in order to resolve a public entity case, it will usually take a governing board of supervisor approval to get your case resolved. What this means is oftentimes there are politics behind admitting that somebody did wrong and that you should be paid. As a result of this, government entity cases, they tend to take two or three times longer than a case brought against a regular private employer. Keep that in mind when working with your attorney that if you're working in a government entity case, your case is likely going to take three, five, maybe even eight to ten years before you're finally done. A government entity case is a marathon. It is not a sprint. Do all employment lawyers take cases against government entities? Or is it important to find a lawyer who has experience filing cases against government entities? Finding a lawyer who has experience suing government entities is incredibly important. The government entities litigate different than they do in private cases. You need an attorney who understands the nuances of governmental immunities, the nuances of governmental employment, civil service commission rules. It's a whole different ball game when you're suing a government entity. You'll benefit tremendously from having a lawyer who has been down that path before. Do government entities hire the very expensive, pricey defense lawyers that big corporations do, or do they have different lawyers that handle the cases? One of the aspects that makes government entity litigation challenging is that they do not employ blue chip, experienced, competent counsel. They are oftentimes represented by their county council, city council, the state a a attorney general's office. These are not attorneys that are experienced in employment litigation exclusively, typically. As a result, litigating these cases can sometimes become very inefficient and frustrating. What are some other concerns when suing a government entity in particular damages? You have to remember, when you're, so when you're suing a government entity, you're essentially suing yourself. You have to keep in mind that the jury is going to be thinking about the public and the public having to pay the money that's being requested. So oftentimes, public entity cases can have smaller verdicts, which is why many lawyers steer clear from public entity cases. One of the tricky spots if you work for a government employer is using their internal reporting structure. If you work for a government entity, the chances are that they have some kind of internal complaint resolution process. Maybe it's their whistleblowing complaint process. Maybe it's if you work for the state, they have an arbitration process that you can go through. Here's the important point. If you go through these internal resolution processes and then you go all the way to the point of having an arbitration and the arbitration goes against you, that can be used against you in your lawsuit to block you from being successful. 
it's incredibly important that you consult with an attorney experienced in government employment litigation to understand whether your efforts to utilize the internal dispute resolution process of your employer might actually prevent you from being able to bring your claims. As a rule of thumb, any resolution process that will result in an arbitration is to be avoided, especially taking it to the ultimate point of that arbitration. Again, if you're in this circumstance, you should check with an attorney so you can get legal advice as to whether using your, your employer's internal dispute resolution programs will affect your ability to bring a case in the future. What about people who work for the federal government, federal employees? Do, they, do all these rules apply to them as well? All these rules and more apply to the unfortunate people who work for the federal government. Most lawyers, myself included, will not touch or take any case where the person was being employed by the federal government. The reality is those cases against federal governments go to federal courts where federal judges employed by the same federal government is going to decide whether their employer should have to pay you money out of their budget. It's a very difficult and challenging area of the law. There are some very few people brave enough to take on the federal government on employment cases. <laughs>